like we got some more fiberglass y'all I got two front door panels for a 06 07 Tahoe the customer want me to put two eights in it on each door panel two sixes and two tweeters I'm trying to come up with something how I'm gonna put them I think I'm gonna put an eight here an eight here and the sixes below them and the two tweeters over here. Got some wood over here. I'm gonna come up with something with this wood. Let me get all this off the table and get set up. I just set my door panel on my piece of wood and kind of traced out the edge of the door panel so I can know how much air I got to work with. You can see the red line and right here it's the handle the handle starts it's from here, here down so all this area here is good so i'm gonna position all my speakers in this area here and come up with something i think i'm gonna go with something like this here with the two eights up here and the sixes and the tweeters this Twitter here gonna be round by an original error of this one. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the holes out for them. So you can see, I got all my speakers traced out where I want to position it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the inner circle out so I can drop the speakers in and see what it's going to look like. This is what I was going for here. Now I'm going to go ahead and form it up how I want it around the outside of it. Something like this. Then I probably draw a circle and another one here, back up in here. This is what I was going for, something like this. It's going to be something like that. But what you do in order to get this door panel, you just flip this over. Just take it up here on your wood. Just trace it out. You have the other door panel. This position where I want it, I went on and drew a red line where I needed to be set up at. I also went on and drew a line up in here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. Go ahead and cut all this out so my speakers be able to clear. It's set up like I want it now. I know it look kind of crazy right now, but once I put that fleece on it, it'll start taking form. I got some legs along the bottom of it. I just got them now until I fiberglass it. Once I fiberglass it, it'll be strong enough by itself. I cut the legs out of this. I just hot glued it.
I'm going to go ahead and do the other door. Then I'll be ready for some fleece. I went on and took the hand off in the armrest. It'll make it a lot easier to, you know, separate this part from this part. Because I ain't going to do nothing to this part. And I don't want to mess it up. But I got both door panels ready to be fleeced. You're going to need you some Loctite. And here go the fleece here. Let me get set up. I'm going to cut you back on. See, I got my fleece cut out. You just want to do one section at a time. I usually do half for the piece. Then I go on the other side and do the other half. But you just want to spray the wood and the plastic whatever then you can spray your fleece See, I'm finishing up on the stapling. I just stapled around the edges so it won't lift up. I'm like around this here, around this curve. Once I put that first layer of resin, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I want to keep that curve there. That's why I stapled it. But everything else should be good. I overlap the ends. Got this one done too. Once I resin it and cut these speaker holes out, you'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like. I forgot to mention about the speaker rings. I stapled around the speaker rings also. Plus I changed this up a little bit too. It was coming straight down, but I decided to put this in it. Did it on this one too. I just gotta staple around these speaker rings. Then I'll be good to go for the resin. Time for the resin. Got some fiberglass resin. I already got it mixed up in my paint cup. And you need a chip brush. Pretty simple. Just brush it on the fleece. to make the piece strong now by putting some fiberglass mat on it I had already put some resin on it so I got my fiberglass mat over here in pieces it's made by Evercoat I just grab my piece the size of what I'm working with put it there and just keep piecing in all the spots then get you some more resin Cover it up with resin. Just keep dabbing it in. You want to do this on the whole piece. About three times. Put about three layers of fiberglass mat.
trying to wrap up my sanding. I got the five inch DA sand out. As you can see, I done knocked down most of it. I still got to cut out my ends of my fleece and cut my speaker rings out. I think I'm going to do that now. Then I'll be ready for some filler. I still got to do that one over there too. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. I got some 80 grit on the DA, but I'm knocking it down with. Got the openings cut out to my speakers. I also went on to cut out the edge around my fleece. I got it knocked down enough to put some fill on it. I was going to spread some fill on, but I think I'm going to make up some rondo so I can brush it on. If you want to know how to do the rondo, check out my video, How to Make Rondo. Once your rondo dry, it's time to go ahead and knock it down. I'm going to do it with my DA sander. I got a 6 inch electric DA sander and some 5 inch DA sanders. This is the sandpaper for the 6 inch. I got this at Harbor Freight. I think 50 sheets, no 25 sheets for $9. But this top layer of the rondo, it's going to be kind of sticky and it's going to clog up your sandpaper. But once you get through the top layer, you'll be good. Still sanding. Still sanding. As you can see, I done wiped some more fill on in some areas. trying to get as smooth as I can because if you don't it's gonna show once you paint it and put that clear on it but I done got the biggest parts knocked down I'm just going back touching up the spots that I seen need to be touched up whenever you think you're done sanding you actually not just go back over it. Just keep going back over it. It'll pay off in the long run. You see this spot here where the fleece meets the original panel? I'm just going to get some fiberglass filler, mix them up, and bevel this off with my hand, or with my finger. But this area here, it's going to be covered up with the handle in the armrest but here I'm gonna have to do the same because it's gonna be showing see that's the fiberglass filler I just wiped it with my finger when you're doing this fiberglass it's gonna always look ugly in the beginning don't get discouraged just keep on moving and then it'll start taking shape towards the end. I got it ready for some primer now. Both door panels. I went on and took my masking tape off. I'm gonna remask it because that masking tape that was old probably had a little tear in it on some spots. So I ain't want to get no primer on this here. So I'm just gonna remask this. 
but I bevel around my edges off. You can see all this bevel off. I had to retouch my tweeter holes, redo them because the mountain holes wasn't lining up. Well, it was lined up, but some of it wasn't straight, and you probably weren't going to hit no fiberglass, so I had redone it on all of them. What I'm finna do now, I'm finna go ahead and blow everything off. Then I'm gonna remask this. And I think I'll be ready to shoot some primer. I had to cut this backing out too, because the magnet was hitting the back just on this one. I got the door panels outside. I'm gonna get ready and block this one with some 180. I got some paint stirring sticks. I cut down the size. I already unblocked this one over here with 180. I also went ahead and put some glaze and put it on my imperfections I found after the block. Also up in here, trying to feather this off. I think I'm about ready to go ahead and spray my final round of primer now. Got everything sanded down, remasked some of the spots on both door panels. Let me go ahead and mix up this primer and I'm going to cut you back on. Primer done dried up. 
I had went on and put some glaze and put it on my little imperfections that I seen once I primed it. Just little pinholes and I was trying to smooth this on out, the transition on out. So I done that. I'm finna go ahead and put some guide coat on it so I can know once I uh, start wet sanding. I know once it's smooth enough to put the base coat on. But this is what I'm gonna use for my guide coat. I'm just gonna use some flat black spray paint. I'm just gonna mist it on. Once you get through spraying the guide coat, you want to get you some soap and water and some 400 grit wet sandpaper. I got a soft sponge block. I folded my sandpaper up in threes. Then just take it up here and start wet sanding. You're trying to remove all this guide coat. Once the guide coat is removed, it's good enough to go ahead and shoot your base. Once you wet sand a certain area, go ahead and get you a rag, squeeze it out some, and just wipe the area you done done so you can inspect it. The only thing you want to see is the gray primer. See, that's good. See, I hadn't even wet sanded this part here yet. But if you see some black, that means you got to come down some more, like here. This spot here was a little bit lower, so I didn't reach the black paint, so I got to come down some more. I still haven't done this. But I've done all the way around. There's a little low spot here. You can see the black paint. I haven't done this. I stored it right here. Just gotta work your way on around. The panel's back in the booth. Both of them been wet sanded and taped up. I'm ready for the base coat now. The base coat is gonna be a jet black. Three coats of the jet black base. And then go ahead and mix up the chameleon. The chameleon is a flip from blue to green.
Yeah, I've been trying to find videos of this. You know, I don't see yet uh, car shows like like on YouTube, but I can't really get no good video. You know. What up now? And then you know who I am. Hey, I'm probably gonna try to get them done in the winter. Go 415. You ain't playing this. <laughs> that flip so hard man, on this motherfucker, man.